two fifty in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know it's early when you're getting up to go fishing and there's still people partying. Yeah. Tournament day. Time to go fishing. Guys, we are here at the launch KBF event, Lake George Trail event. I think there's like 130 guys signed up for this tournament. Did okay in pre-fish. We'll see how today goes. I'm gonna make a big gamble, go across the lake to start. But just to give you guys a little tournament info, so we can launch at 4:30 in the morning. It's pretty dang early. 4:30 we can launch. Five o'clock is the first cast. Last cast is two o'clock. All photos submitted on the Tourney X app by 3 o'clock. And you got to check in to the Adirondack Pub and Brewery by 3:30. So five fish limit, longest five fish. We'll see what happens today. 4.30, here we go. Alrighty guys, making it to our first spot. It took us 25 minutes at a pretty good pedal. Definitely feeling that in the legs. And uh, the reason I picked this spot is yesterday, in five minutes, we caught a big large mouth. And then more importantly, or just as important, caught a small mouth. And then on the other side of this point, we caught a trout. Three different species in one general area. That's usually a really good sign that there's a lot of bait. There's a lot of active feeding fish. It is a little bit of a gamble because everything else that I found is way across the lake, kind of clustered together where I know I can catch fish. But I think my best chance at a kicker fish is gonna be starting here. 455, we got five minutes till first cast. Always the longest wait time, waiting for first cast. It's like we had a full moon last night. Maybe that'll help the fish. All right, five o'clock, here we go, guys. First cast, let's make it a little short one. KBF trail event, Lake George. I think it's gonna take 93 inches today to win. 93 inches, so we have to catch some big ones today. That's why we came here, right there. Didn't even feel the bite. It's the weirdest thing. There's a ton of fish in this area, that's for sure. Nice. Take four more of those. Definitely comms and nerves right there. Getting the fish on the board. Yeah, little guy. Keeper number two. Another little guy. Well, there's three. I definitely need to get bigger, though. It's crazy. That almost looks like the same fish we caught yesterday. Not as big as yesterday, but that's a good one. There's 17 and a quarter. Thank you, sir. There is a limit. Got our limit. We definitely have three fish we need to get rid of, but hey, it's a start. First and last are always hardest to catch. Looks like our last fish was our small one. Do we dare look at the standings? Let's just take a look for the heck of it. Oh my god, it's 108, that's 86. Should help. Probably about a 15 or so. 14.50. Got rid of my 14. Making a move here. We milk that point for about yeah, about an hour 45. Got our limit off of it. That's key. And we called once. So, like I figured we'd do today, we'd cover water. We might come back to that a little bit later when we cross the lake again. But really just want to cover some water and make a lot of casts and catch a lot of fish. the lake to the spots where I'm pretty sure I can get a ton of bites. The wind's starting to pick up too so it might be a good time to cross. It's definitely getting kind of gusty right now. Ten more minutes so I can actually get to the other side safely. This lake is no joke. They did warn us last night about how it's not uncommon to see three, four, five foot rollers out here when that wind just gets ripping down the lake. That 
should help. Oh, never mind. That's the first time that's happened in a long time. Let's have this one not flop off the board. These fish are so aggressive. It's crazy. It feels like it's been forever and it's 8 a.m. Got six more hours to fish. I don't know what's going on. Rear GoPro is not holding the charge, so I'm gonna stop messing with it. We're gonna stay on the front GoPro for the rest of the day. That'll certainly help the cause. Hey, 15 inches will help me right now. This tail's long too, though. Look at that tail. Be able to squeeze out a quarter inch or so. Man, these fish are just in a, we in a weird place. 15 and a half. Be a big one. It's a good fish right there. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, that was a gift. 18 and a quarter. That's the kind we need right there. Thank you, sir. Oh, God, that's a, another big... Oh, God, it's a giant. Yes! There's been a wave of big largemouth that moved in this area. Jeez Louise. It's another 17 inch fish at least. 17 and a half or <sighs> beauty. There's some big largemouth in this area, that's for sure. And they want this jig. Another Oh my god, another good one. Yes! Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I saw that fish earlier too when I was catching the last fish. This spot has been just magical right here. Just magical. Guys, that's a solid limit right there. That deserves a new trailer for sure. This jig, though, that's for sure. Oh, right from under their shell up. Oh my god, they're just eating it. You'd think you'd have to finesse, I mean, and this is a finesse jig, but you'd think you'd have to use like a, like a worm or something, but I mean, they're just, they just want this jig. Bunch of little ones by this dock. Bunch of dinks. Oh, a couple of fish shot right out of there. Oh, one had in its mouth. Oh, there's a bunch of fish under there. Oh my god. Another I don't know how many fish are under that dock, but there's a lot. Oh no, he's not that big. Crazy how many fish are over here. You can see why they're here though. Look at all this rock. And you got these sunken trees. There's a couple good ones down there. They look good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I that's like a six pounder right there. That's a winning fish right there. That is a winning fish. There are giants underneath me right here. Dang it. That's the million dollar question. It's 1020. 
I know there's a couple of tanks in there. I saw one that's probably six pounds at least. It's a huge fish. Do I stay here and just soak the spot? Or do I explore a little bit and then come back? You know, what do I do? I mean, I'm catching fish. All right, guys, we've milked that spot pretty good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover a little more water. I mean, it's 1040, so we've definitely got some time. <laughs> Three more hours to fish plus. So we're gonna explore some new water. Well, actually some old water. I have another spot over here that I marked on pre-fish that had a lot of uh, sticks and stuff, uh, fallen trees. And I think that area was good because it had rock and tree. And this is this area, the next area has the same thing. So let's hope they're still biting over here. Here we go. Big one? Oh, it's a big one. I think that'll help. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Large mouth are chewing. The move paid off. The move paid off for sure. I didn't want to leave that spot because it was so dang good, but I mean, I knew this spot was similar characteristics. We were right. I think that'll call. 1825. Thank you, sir. be a giant oh I think that's the one we need oh my god it's a giant oh my god that is the one we needed big fish of the day oh my god can you believe this I just I can't believe this here jig came right out this is an unbelievable day year turn, I don't even know what to say 1875 oh my god look what these are just clamping down they're so like I don't even know what they are they're just mad but that's the big fish of the day thank you sir uh, i can't tell i think that one will call too i think i'm not sure it's got to be the 17.5 eh, i don't think it's gonna call it's not gonna call nice fish Fish have definitely dropped off a little deeper. It's not gonna help at all. It's a nice one though. Long skinny one. I cast it there because look what I saw in my side imaging. Rocks. Nope. Not gonna cut it. That's her. That's her. I think. Oh no, that's not her. I was hung up in the rope. Man, I thought I had the kicker fish of the day. Dang it. That got me super excited. She must have got me hung up in like a rope or something down there. I think we've kind of milked this spot for all it's worth. I mean, I can't complain, this spot has been amazing to me. But I think we gotta throw the Hail Mary. Try one or two last spots. 119, we got about 40 minutes left. All right, here we go. Hail Mary. All right, we got 27 minutes left to make something happen. People are definitely catching today, so we're gonna need a big bite, that's for sure. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it. I'm gonna call it a day. What a fantastic day of fishing. Well, that was just fun. Caught a ton of fish today on a jig of all things. That's just a fun way to catch them. Make my way in, I'm gonna go check in and I will catch you guys afterwards and let you guys know how things shake out. Had a great day today, happy with how I fished. Alrighty guys, that is going to conclude the KBF trail event on Lake George. Finished in seventh place, which I am more than thrilled with. I was extremely fortunate and all the decisions I made were the right ones. And you know, that second half of the day when I decided to cross back to the other side of the lake and fish that one area where I caught a couple in pre-fish, 
there was definitely a wave of bigger largemouth that had moved up and uh, they were chewing, they were eating. Every single fish that I caught during the tournament was on one bait, one setup, and that is the good old Kitech M2 Finesse football jig. Now this was the same jig I won the Lake Shasta Hobie Bass Open Series event back in California. Pretty much the only color I threw was a green pumpkin with a blue craw rage chunk. I really like this combination because it's, it's a very natural looking bait, especially for the clear water that we had in Lake George. It's got a little bit of a blue hue to it if you can see. And I think, I don't know, that just looks really good. Not sure if the fish care too much, but they definitely wanted this and they were just munching on this bait. I have this paired with 20 pound fluorocarbon Seaguar and Vizex. Yes, that's some pretty beefy line, but the fish didn't mind and that allowed me to just swing back super hard on the fish and get him in the boat real quick. Got this with a Guru rod, same rod, same setup I used at Shasta again. We've got this with a Corrado K, 8, 5 to 1, high speed reel. Again, just to catch up with some of those fish that were moving fast on me. That is what did all my damage for the tournament. We were in contention and that's all you can really hope for for the tournament. We needed probably one or two more big bites to, to have a chance at the win, but seventh place, I can't complain. What a fantastic tournament and uh, big props to KBF and Adirondack KBF for you know hosting a, a great event for 130 plus anglers and everything went super smooth. So shout out to them. That is probably gonna be my last tournament for New New York. I'm heading back to California in a little bit, so the next tournament video will actually be up at New Malones in California. That lake had my number last year. It's a very tricky lake, very deep fishery with a lot of spotted bass. So that should be an interesting tournament, but the season continues. The great season continues, and uh, I'm glad I get to share it with you guys and you're following along. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.